Hello Internet! Today I want to show you my new park site flashlight. It's a PLHLA20 LEC1. I bought it for my work. I got it because it uses standard park side batteries. It's a 3 watt LED flashlight, maybe like this. It's got a simple on off switch and you can swing it around. I want to check if 40 wattage or about 8 pounds was well spent or did I just bought a free LEDs and a resistor. So it works with battery, but I want to try connect this to power supply and see what voltage range can we use and will it affect the brightness. So I will set up you with GoPro, which I repaired in a different video. So you can see the power supply. And we'll just connect the light. Connections are standard. Minus to the minus, positive to plus. Need to set 20 volts. Power on. And Okay, so it switches off, so it's got some circuitry inside, but it's nothing that we can fix with 10K resistor. So let's try this. Just a quick Connection, and you can try again. Okay, so now it's working. What can we see? It draws 3 watts, that's the rated power. And we can try lower the voltage and see if we get a lower power. So 18, 19 volts, 18. 17, still 3 watts, so we probably have some back regulator inside. 16 volts, and the power is dropping a bit, but still holding at about 3 watts. Can go lower, 15, still good, 14. 14 is below the battery cutoff, I think. 13, still good. And at about 12 volts, it cuts off. Will it recover? Not really. Okay, so you need to toggle the switch and it recovers. So now I will take it apart and see what's the quality inside. Of course the only way to open the Parkside device is to use a Parkside screwdriver. So let's start maybe with the head assembly. Okay. So this is made out of plastic, it's PA6GF30, here you have PA6, it's a nylon with 6 atoms of carbon, and GF30, it's a glass fiber, 30%.
and I lost the screw. Don't worry. And check the LEDs. Okay, so this board is pretty simple. It's three LEDs connected in series. The wires look looks like they are made from silicone. So it's like a RC quadcopter stuff. It's very elastic and will not break inside the, the neck. Also connecting in series is the best way if you got 20 volts to drop should be fine. Okay, so let's go deeper. Also a good thing is a hard power button because you won't get battery leakage that will discharge your battery. Okay, so these screws are longer, so don't mix them. From the head are shorter, from the LEDs are really short. Okay, these are the silicon wires. It's also interesting, you got two positions for, I don't know, maybe different head. I didn't see uh, another type of this light with the same handle and different head. So if you seen something like this in shop, uh, you can write it in the comments. So the board, board is stuck with glue. And try and I think they try to glue the cables and accidentally Put glue on the board. I don't want to break this board because I really like this light. I used it for three days with a bigger battery, the four four amp hours battery, and it. It easily lasted for three days. And then I just finished the job and didn't test it for a longer. Okay, so this is the board. We change the lens and get you a bit closer. So now when you are closer, you can see the powers comes in, goes to the switch. On the switch, it goes back to the board. Then we have some protection MOSFET Q1 that gives power to the output converter. I will check the markings on this later. Maybe we can see it in this light or can you read it? I will put it on the screen. We also have a micro because there is a programming header on the other side. So that's a lot of stuff for free LEDs. But you get a battery protection and also a constant output through the whole capacity of battery.
So I think for 40 zloty it's a nice nice purchase. So I won't bore you with putting this back together. I would say this this is worth buying if you need a light that uses the batteries you already got if you use of course the other tools from Parkside. So thanks for watching and see you next time.